Okay, hey guys, Brett Weiss here. I'm at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo with the one and only immortal John Hancock. He is here, uh, he has brought his entire Sega Genesis collection, every US release. John, what are you doing here and why did you bring all your Sega games? Well, I'm just a part of the museum this year. Pretty much uh, they asked me to bring my Sega Genesis collection. And this is something I'm very, very near and dear to my heart. Just a, just a small part of this museum this year and just wanted to share my collection with others. And so, so every Genesis U, uh, release in the U.S. boxed yes. with manual? Yes. How long did this take you to put this collection together? 20 years. 20 years. I mean, <laughs> oh, 20 so serious years. Was it a combination of eBay and in the wild? and? Every... Well, eBay to upgrade some of the games, right. uh, especially when I found out that it was going to be at this year's show. And oh, so you, you actually bought some more games to up, to get yes. better copies for this exhibit? Yes. Very impressive. Yeah, you know, I had some sun phase and some stuff I've been wanting to upgrade, but but yeah, o over time, many a lot of majority of the collection was purchased over the years at retro game shows right. across the Northwest, Classic Gaming Expo, yeah. you know, Portland Retro Gaming Expo going back to 2006. Yeah, the late lamented Classic yeah. Gaming Expo. That's right. A lot of good times. <laughs> that was a lot of people's first video game convention. Oh, it was mine. I yeah. mean, I, I remember going in 2004. Yeah, so, my mean, first was 2003, so yeah. yeah, it was good times, good times. That's great. All right, so why don't you, uh, so real quick, um, why the Genesis? Is that your favorite console? Yeah, it's one. It's one that I earned my uh, earned with my own money. The first console I bought with my own money. I nice. wanted a Neo Geo. I showed my dad a Neo Geo in a in a Sears wish book. Yeah, he right. says, "Son, that's great. You see that lawnmower over there? <laughs> that's how you're gonna get it." <laughs> so that's a good dad right there. So you know, yeah. and I, I worked all summer and had enough money to get a Sega Genesis, and so that. And in my Sega Genesis that I had had all the Alter was that Alter Beast pack. -in. Yeah, an unusual pack in title, a yes. little demonic, but yes. but a great game and yeah. a nice port and uh, yes. fondly remembered by a lot of us Genesis fans. Correct. All right, so one more thing. Why don't you take us through this yeah. collection real quick and maybe point out some of your favorites or some oh, yeah. rares? Yeah. So um, let's go go through here and alphabetical. Alphabetical order. Alter Beast. So I've had that in my collection a long time. Not my original copy, but I've had it in my collection a long time. Yeah. Okay. And we're going over here. So Electronic Arts, their first releases were in these cardboard boxes, and they're really hard to find. And they'll and only fit the Model 1 Genesis, right? Or yes, some of them. Yes. Or all of them. And they're really kind of hard to find in great shape. The cardboard box usually deteriorates. It gets smashed. I love that Buck Rogers yeah. box. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> really nice. The did some awesome stuff. Yeah. Uh, this is a this is a pretty rare game, Crusader Ascendi, and this game right here is is really hard to get. Which one? Crusader Ascendi. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ascendi. Like a strategy? Real t is it real time strategy? Uh, it's it's kind of like a Legend of Zelda clone. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Chavez Chavez Two. That's a toughie. Yeah, that's pretty tough. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go around. As you can see, it's on display. Uh, an acrylic, very nice display, and it's part of the Vis Video Game History Foundation is hosting this yeah, exhibit. Yeah, they're hosting the exhibit. Yeah. They Frank Cifaldi and uh, Kelsey Lewin. Yeah, they have an amazing setup. Right, So they right. have some crazy stuff there. Yeah. I had to come down here before uh, the show gets started in earnest, while before I'm, you know, chained to my table all day. So the thing about these is people probably wonder, wait a minute, I remember seeing a different re version of this. It was in a clamshell. Well, it's true. A lot of Tengen releases were in both cardboard and clamshell, and certain ones are harder to get. And so, you know, what's kind of fun about Genesis is the box variations and right. the packaging variations. Now, didn't they do paper later on to save money? Um, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was cheaper, I think, shipping wise too. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. Right here, um, this is a variation of Raiden. Uh, Raiden tread. Yep. Yeah. Great and shooter. Great, great vertical shooter. And inside is an apology letter. Uh, explaining that they why they changed the uh, cover art of it. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. It's, it's, it's an That's oddity. Cool. So, very nice. Right. Now, how how hard was it to get your collection here uh, from your home uh, outside of Seattle all the way to Portland? Well, um, a trustworthy friend mm -hmm. and the prepping for it took over a month, and so I had to make double check. Had to double check I had every game. Right. Had to make sure that you know the condition. Like a good example, I only had a Mega Hits Bomberman. Yeah, and so I wanted to share that subset, so I had to I had to get another Mega Barma Man, B 
because that's the first release of it. That's the one I have. That is yeah. my favorite Bomberman game. Yeah, I love it that you can get on those uh, those like kangaroo type creatures, and I love that game. So Mutant League Football. Oh, that's another, one. Another classic. Everybody uh, wants. I mean, that's a really highly sought after. Yeah. One of the more uh, highly, you know. The, the, the Genesis gets slammed for having a lot of common sports yeah. titles, but Mutant Football League is not one of those common ones. Yeah. So over here, Herzog's um, Vi is one of my favorite. Oh, yeah. It's a great one. Yeah, that's a toughie. Original Madden release in the cardboard oh, cool. uh, box. Yeah. There's a clamshell release, too, that's hard to get. No, there's a Blockbuster exclusive. Uh, the rental store exclusive. Yeah. There's a variation of that collector's uh uh, championship edition. So there's right. two versions of the championship edition. Yeah, very so, nice. Yeah. Wow. This is incredible, man. I really appreciate you, you know, bringing this out for everybody to see. <laughs> and uh, it's a great part of the, you know, Portland. When, you know, you've been, there's you know, over 100 arcades set up to play. There's a big yeah. vendor's room. But, you know, when you're through, come into the, you know, if you're here at Portland, um, this, is, this is amazing. If you ever get a chance to come out to Portland, the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, they always have a museum. Last year you had uh, our Nintendo. Nintendo, yeah, full your full NES set. Yeah, very cool. In the same cases. Yeah, right. So, yeah. Where did these cases come from? They Some... come from Portland Retro Gaming Expo. They have them for this purpose of. Oh, okay. Uh, and initially they're for uh, displaying Rick Wise's Atari collection. Yeah, yeah, a couple of years but, ago. But what's funny is it perfectly fits right. Sega Genesis. Yeah, right. So which is nuts. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, very, very cool. Yeah. John, really appreciate you coming out. Thank you so much for uh, the interview, and enjoy the show. I mean, I Signing off. Thank you, guys. Remember to like and subscribe.